Hey, welcome to another 902 gaming video. <clears throat> Today I'm going to uh, be trying some more standard ranked. Uh, this one's going to be with a deck that was posted yesterday, the day before possibly, uh, on Magic.gg. Uh, it's a very interesting deck. I guess I can go over it first. Um, nope. This is always better for actually viewing it. Um, it's kind of interesting because it's playing a whole bunch of dragons and it's playing a pyre of heroes, which wants to kind of ramp up. Uh, basically you can ramp up from dragon turtle at three mana. You can go to Atsushi, you can go to Goldspan dragon, and then finally up to Kyrie. And then you even have Velomachus uh, at the top end. <clears throat> so we'll see how this actually works out. It's kind of interesting because it's a card I never ever thought of. There's not really any two mana, but you have a lot of really good two mana spells. Um, you know, you're playing, uh, a bunch of removal spells just, you know draws you cards this you know expressive iteration is very good dragons fire can be up to six damage which is also still very good uh, and then you have play with fire for some of the little dorks that you might have to fend off um there's a few cards that i think are missing from the deck although we do have cinderclasm in the sideboard um i think potentially doom scar or something like that, something that will be able to actually eliminate the you know sweep the board i think that's going to be the biggest problem but we're going to try some ranked play uh, I don't know how long this video will actually be. I'm just playing this live. I'm not actually um, going to be cutting it at all. Um, I, I just come off of a small break. Um, I just kind of didn't really like where the format was at. Uh, hopefully things are changed a bit. Um, okay. We'll see what happens anyway. So... You reveal a dragon card and that's all tapped. Uh it's a pretty good try land actually. Um uh, I guess it's gotta be blue. Oh come in this blue. And we'll see what happens. So they're playing black white, or maybe Esper even, for that matter. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So they're likely playing um, the card that has that exiles a permanent when they sacrifice a permanent. Um, I'm not going to play. I'm just going to play Pyre of Heroes here. Uh, and then possibly cast Express Iteration next turn. Oh, Restoration. Okay. So maybe some type of black, white enchantments. Okay. Um, we're casting expressive iteration. Uh, I don't need the land. Um, I'll put that one into my hand, I guess. That can go back to the library, and I'll exile this one here. I'll oh, just come into play tapped. This is the first time I'm playing this deck too, so I may not play it exactly right. K -k -k combo. Mm -hmm. Ooh. No artifacts, so you don't get both. Alright. Uh so I don't need a white really at all. Um I guess I can play this. Play the Pyre of Heroes. Hmm. Can play Dragon Turtle, I guess. And then activate the Pyre of Heroes next turn. This is whenever whenever it attacks or blocks. Okay. Hmm. 
Looks like I'm being oak card advantaged by the black white deck. Um, none of this is any good. All right, I'll play land. Um, no, cancel. Uh, I think I'm just gonna play. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play the Pyre. I'm going to end the turn. Yeah, this doesn't untap yet, so I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess you can have all the things. That's fine. Um... They'll probably tap this to sacrifice and draw two cards. I don't know they didn't. Okay. Interesting. They must have something there then. Um. Likely going to lose my dragon here. Mm -hmm. Hmm, okay, I'm going to draw lots of lands here. That's great. It's perfect. See if this actually works. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> mm. What's in my graveyard here? Um. Turn instants or sorceries? Hmm. Mm, none of these are any good. But we'll take this anyway. We'll just get a couple expressive iterations back. Not really much I can do. I'm drawing a boatload of lands here and not a, not much else. It's kind of kind of crappy actually. Uh okay. Take uh I can go to the library and sell this one.
Hmm. Okay. Well, more land. <laughs> more land is always great. <laughs> so they likely have another one of those if they're willing to block. That's fine, though. Drew a lot of land in this deck. I'm not sure how many are actually in it. Uh, it's only 24. I'm still I'm drawing quite a bit of land here, so. Come here. So they can pay four mana to get two creatures back. So they're going to get Spirit of Companion and a Henrika back. That's fine. Uh, I don't, we don't necessarily need that. Yeah. I don't need to actually spend the extra mana. I don't have anything to spend the mana on. It's all lands. Wow. Getting hit in all the lands here. Kind of, kind of terrible. Okay. Play that land. I did play a land already this turn. But... I think I need to potentially draw something. Well, that's not great. I'll put that in my hand. That back in the library and excel that one. Well, this isn't turning out the best. They have to deal with the Hall of the Storm Giants, which will be interesting for them to try to deal with. I do have a Velomachus, so I can play this next turn and then actually activate the Pyre of Heroes. So that, that'll be pretty sweet. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I think I can win here. Well, that was pretty sweet. Okay. Well, the card that I thought was going to be a, not that great was Play With Fire, and it actually turns out that being able to get it back with the Kyrie is actually pretty good. Um, so my opponent was playing uh, basically just black-white control, right? So um, probably want to test the talents. Probably don't want the Pyre of Heroes at all. The combo's pretty sweet. Uh, Castle's Fury can come out. Um, yeah, really being able to sacrifice this is pretty important. Uh, Prismari Command was not that great, so I'd almost rather have another threat here. Um... I don't really want the Stainful Stroll. All I saw was a dragon, I think. They're probably playing uh, Lolf and stuff. Mm. Let's see. This might be interesting as well. Dragon's Fire is not that great. Not a big fan of Express Iteration either. It's probably not the deck that I want. Um, these, but we'll play them anyway. Try it out. <clears throat> that was a pretty sweet combo at the end, though. I have to say. I don't think I had any right to win that game. I think my opponent was so far ahead that... Um, I think just the Hall of the Storm Giants is just 
not in their game plan. So uh, I'm going to keep. Not really great here, but at least I can eliminate a few creatures early on if I have to. So we'll play this, play this, have this Dragon's Fire up. Just in case they play the... They probably have the Restoration of Aganjo again. No? Okay. Uh, we'll just play that then. Elite Spellbinder there would have been pretty sweet, I think. Yeah, there's Restoration. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're definitely going to want to have uh, Vanishing Slash here. Mm -hmm. Sure. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I want this as red. They are pretty susceptible to um, uh, Goldspan Dragon. A lot of their removal is sorcery. No planes? Oh, you got other planes. Cool. Oh, I don't know what that did. Choose a dragon. There we go. Pink. That one, the old smackaroonie. Okay. Go to combat again. Okay. Oop. Mm -mm. They do have a hive, which can be a problem, I guess, but they seem to be playing cards that just specifically use restoration. I guess that's not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got there. Uh, so the deck's pretty sweet. Wow, sweet. Oh, shoot, I wanted to look at the battlefield. Uh, anyway, that'll probably do for this. I'm just going to kind of go over the deck a little bit. I'm not really going to play a bunch of games. I don't want to really bog down the video, make it like an hour long. Um, but play best of three ranked. Um, had no business winning that first game, but I did anyway. Just on the back of Kyrie, Pyre of Heroes, and being able to return play with fire. Uh, this, I, I can see now why Castle's Fury is there. Um, you, it's actually a second uh, sacrifice outlet and to be able to get this back um, this actually gives me an idea for another deck um, being able to return any instant and sorcery cards is probably going to be pretty good um, and I think this is just this is just scratching the surface of that deck and I think the, it's a pretty good use of Pyre of Heroes being able to chain up I never got the chain up I did get the chain from Atsushi to Goldsman Dragon uh, in the first game as well which is also very very powerful um, this doesn't really have any good targets to hit. Uh, so I don't, I think there's a, I think there's a different color combination that can still use this card and actually, um, still play this card as well. So there's definitely something else here. There's definitely something here. Uh, it's actually very, very interesting. Um, 
Cyborg, I didn't really get to see it much. Test of Talents is probably fine. Level and her and stuff. This is basically your standard uh, Jeskai Cyborg, I think. Uh, I think the majority of Jeskai decks, whether they're control or whatever they happen to be, they tend to look like this. Um, I might want to see some Skyclave Apparitions or something in the Cyborg. Um, just for the um, Rune deck. Uh, but basically playing against a Black White deck, it wasn't a you know, it wasn't a necessarily tier one deck, but then again, I haven't played in a while, so I don't really know what's going on with the format. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed playing this deck. The deck's pretty sweet. I'll try to put a link in the description below, and I'll see you in the next one.